Dust collection is sort of a necessary evil, right? I think most people realize that the first time they start surfacing their spoil board and they're like, oh God, this is such a mess. And so, you know, at that point you start looking for a solution and there's various things out there. I think the, the thing that this does well, that, you know, dust shoes in general do well is when you're doing subtractive machining versus additive manufacturing, like 3D printing or something like that, your design is revealed as you cut things away. And, you know, you still get that even when you if you don't have a dust shoe, but your design is underneath a pile of dust. And, and so if you can collect that while you're cutting or you can quickly vacuum it off at the end, it lets you, you know, see your creation more quickly and get you inspired to move on to the next tool path. This system's designed to be compatible with Avid systems and also with non-Avid systems. The interface is basically a clamping ring here, and then we have various different inserts that you can put in to match up with whatever spindle diameter you have. Something that does it for you, does it seamlessly, and you can forget about it, and it gets out of your way, but lets you realize what you want to create on your machine. That's what I'm excited about. That's why this is a product that I think is important. We talk about a chamber design. That basically just means that rather than just a giant oval that this hose comes down into, you've got this molded plastic chamber that directs the airflow around your cutting tool. And so I'll go back to the, you know, people's first dust collection experience where you're vacuuming off your spoil board while you're cutting it. That all works well with an oval shoe until you get to the edge of the machine. And then, you know, your brush can tend to go off the edge and then you lose suction and you're not, you, you can start dropping dust off the side. It's just not as effective as getting everything. Whereas having the chamber shoe and having the ring right around your tool, basically, as long as your tool's on the spoil board, most of your brush ring is on the spoil board, so you don't lose as much suction, and it's more effective at getting things slipped up. Your collet nut is right there, and you can change tools, and then when you're done with that, you just snap this right back in. And this piece is a single piece, it's lightweight, you don't even have to drive your Z-axis up that high to get it off, and it's super robust, so you don't need to worry about you know breaking it or cracking it when you set it aside. It's just, it's ready, you change your tool, and you're ready to put it back in, and it snaps right back up into the into the locating features and it gets the magnets. A lot of people might say it's crazy to make a dust shoe out of machined aluminum. And I will say that, you know, that was a very conscious decision on our part. I think the reason we did it is we really wanted a stiff connection that's also flat and stable uh, for all the other parts of this uh, system to connect to. We've had dust shoes made out of plastic where the clamping mechanism cracks after time. And that's annoying, right? Like it's just something that's like, you want dust collection to disappear and do its job, and that's something where, oh, I gotta be dainty with my dust shoe and I'm working on it. This one you can treat however you want. So that was a lot of the decision why we wanted to use aluminum for the body. Other materials choices, you mentioned the steel back bristle ring. So this is galvanized steel here, and that's important both because it's magnetic, so it snaps into the magnets, but it also, this crimp is exceptionally strong. These, these bristles are not going anywhere, I think on, Cheaper dust shoes, first of all, a lot of times there's assembly required, like you gotta jam a brush ring down into some routed plastic or molded plastic channel, and then the bristle ring, the, or the brush strip rather, can pull out over time. That's not gonna happen with this, so it's just a, it's just a super simple but effective solution to get a magnetic band that also holds the bristles in place rather than having a bunch of extra parts. So that was the choice behind the brush ring. And then the shoe itself is made from a material called Aculon. It's a polymer, glass filled polymer blend. It's used on a lot of power tool housings. Um, so it's just super durable and super strong. So you can crash it, you can you know, flex it. Matches up with the toughness of the rest of the system. That's most of the materials here. I mean, this, this ring here is a machine plastic for now. That's mostly because there can be a lot of heat that some spindle noses, you know, the spindle itself will heat up, and so we wanted to make sure that this material here was able to tolerate that heat and still keep a good clamping force. That's why these are made the way they are. We've accomplished what we wanted in this product. It's something that collects dust well, looks good on your machine, and you just don't have to worry about it because it's so rugged.